Hi, my name is Austin Gustavich. I'm a personal trainer with Baylor Fitwell with another full body workout for Muscle Monday. So today we're going to start with something called a pulse push up. So this is a push up that does not do the full range of motion for a purpose. Um, we're going to come down here and I'll show you. So obviously a regular push up, we're going to come all the way down and all the way back up. And on this one, you're going to be just concentrating on your triceps a little bit more and it'll be a different kind of motion for your for your chest. You're gonna go, go in the halfway point, never allowing yourself to come back down, never allowing yourself to come fully back up. You're going to come halfway down, just, just like that. A little bit easier than a standard push-up, but never give yourself a chance to rest, really switches it up for your push-up routine. Um, we're going to do three sets of 10 of those. And if you need to, um, use your knees just like this. And we're just going to come down just like this. And it should be a little bit easier if this is a little challenging. So come up if you can. And we're going to start with 10. All right? One, two, three, four. Oof, I felt that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, um, you, you want to change up your workouts as much as possible. If you're comfortable with something, and if it's something that you don't feel like will challenge you very much, it's also, it's also probably not gonna give you as much of a gain into your muscle building and strength building. So, um, whereas the push-up, everyone knows how to do a push-up, if you change it up a little bit, it's very much a muscle confusion kind of element. And I could feel a lot more in my shoulders, a lot more in my triceps. I could feel it in a different way in my chest, kind of my upper chest. And um, yeah, I know it's uh, good to mix it up. Don't do the same workouts every day. And uh, switching them up should really help with your workout goals. So we're gonna come down again for another 10. All right, yeah, one, two, three, Seven, eight, nine, ten. And never allowing myself much of a break at all in between each one of those reps, whereas a normal push up, you can come all the way up, and when your arms are straight out in front of you, you have basically your whole arm pulling you up, your chest is doing no motion. Then when you're laying down, obviously there's nothing working. So this eliminates any sort of rest in between. Uh, Obviously it's not superior to a push-up because you don't get the full range of motion, but again, switching it up, getting a new type of work in for your chest and triceps and your front delts will really be beneficial to you. So we're gonna go in for our last set. Come down and start. All right, halfway. Good job. Okay, we're gonna be doing another push-up uh, formation, but it's actually gonna be concentrating on our back. Uh, this is called a rotator push-up. So I'm gonna do a full range push-up, opposite of what we were just doing. <sighs> I need to catch my breath after that last one. Um, so yeah, once you do the full push-up, you're gonna come all the way down, and you're gonna raise your hands on the, uh, above the floor, you're gonna have your chest and your body touching the ground, but your hands are gonna stay flat and above you. You're gonna raise them up and bring them back to you, never touching the ground again. So it's gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it a lot in your back, um, as long as as long as you don't touch the ground again. So I'll show you. Right now we're gonna do three sets of ten. We're gonna come down. Once I'm down, I lift my hands off the ground. Scoot a little bit down over here. I lift my hands off the ground and take about five seconds to go in front of me without ever touching the ground again, and then back. Then I'm back up, and we're doing it again. Just like that. We're doing three sets of 10 of these. So let's do it. Ready, go. You should really feel it in your back, a little bit in your shoulders too along with the push-up. Good 
keep it going. About halfway there. You can really feel it in your back and chest right now, especially since you've already worked your chest a little bit. All right, last one. Finish up strong. Good job. So yeah, because of the pulse push-up we did previously, I can feel my chest already be a little bit fatigued, which is good. It really lets my triceps take over. And I can really feel it in my back because not allowing myself to put my hands back down and rest really pinches your shoulder blades together and keeps them in a position you're usually not doing and really works your entire back. And we're gonna do a few more sets of these and see how we feel. All right, so down. Keep it up, doing great. Keep it going. Really starting to feel it. We're almost done with this set. Can you tell I've been doing finals all week and not working out? <laughs> I'm very busy this week. I'm sure everyone else is. <sighs> yeah, um, this video will be posted on Monday the 11th. So most people will be done with their finals. Maybe a couple have a few later in the week. I have one on the 13th, which I think is the last day you can take a final. So some people see that as bad luck, but it's the hardest one of my classes. So I hope y'all had a good spread of times you take your exam it's always the worst when you have your two hardest classes on the same day so hope you had good fortune with that and honestly i don't know about y'all but this is the easiest semester i've ever taken at baylor but i miss it i miss it a lot and i miss working out with you guys but hope you keep enjoying these videos we're gonna go into our last set all right One, keep it going. Two, doing great, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> Definitely can feel it. Done. We got two more. Last one. Good job. All right. So for the next one, we're going to be using anything you have around you. You can use your couch. You can use an ottoman like I'm using. We're going to do a Bulgarian split squat. And the important thing is to just have one leg up on the object that you've chosen. Um, I've had a lot of people say it's uncomfortable from a certain position, but if you want to put your whole leg back on it or just your foot, as long as you're taking this leg out of the question, this leg's doing no work, you can put it up any way that feels most comfortable for your height and what kind of object you're using. I just put my foot on it. And I've had a client once say they didn't feel it enough in this leg. And I was like, oh, then that's a good thing. <laughs> so make sure you understand that you're only working one leg at a time with the Bulgarian squat. I'll show you right now. So we're gonna be working, I'm gonna be working my right leg, but my left leg 
up here, it's out of the question now. Hop wherever you want and come down and back up. And that's just one. And one thing I want y'all to do is I'll do a lunge to demonstrate this, but it's the same thing if my leg was back. Have the leg that you're bending on the side that it's naturally in. So when I come down, it would be like this. Don't have this dominant leg come to your center and try to do some awkward thing because you're trying to keep your balance now. Keep it in its natural alignment. Have this just used for balance and you should just come down straight and keeping your right leg on your right side, left leg on your left side. All right, we're gonna be doing two sets of eight on each side. I'm gonna start it off. All right, set, all right, let's go. Doing great, guys. Keep it up. All right, switch. No break, because we're switching legs every time. And down. Keep it up. Keep it going, guys. All right, we're gonna switch legs. We have one more set of each leg. So come back, press your leg back, hop where you feel like you have the most balance and you'll get the best squat and come down. I feel a burn in this leg, not because it's working, because I'm stretching it every time I come down and it's already tired. So if you feel like a, like you're burning and it hurts a little bit in a good way on your quad, it's not supposed to be doing anything, it's because you're stretching it. Last set. Doing great. Keep it up. One more. Whew. Definitely felt that. All right, you can keep your ottoman or couch or chair or whatever you're using. Here, sit down. We're gonna do a one-legged calf raise. So I was thinking about this one and I actually had to make this up on my, in my head on how to do a really good calf raise on film. Um, a lot of times I just go up and down the stairs, but it's kind of harder to film that. And I've done it with a thing of water bottles on my knees, but this is a new one I've thought of. Just cross your legs over. It's gonna be a one-legged thing. And to keep the right balance, you're gonna have your hands behind you like this. And this leg right here, it's gonna be doing a little bit of a weight. Be using it as a little bit of a weight. Push down with this leg while you do a calf raise on this one. You're just gonna come up and back down. We're gonna do three sets of 12 on each leg. Up and back down. I'll show you from the side. I'm gonna cross over. Up, back down. I really can feel this one because I'm holding it. I'm not just bouncing my leg. That doesn't do a lot. The controlled up and down motion, really working against my leg. Make you do a lot of work. So it's getting something out of this workout for me. Keep it going. The slower you go, the harder it will be the more you'll get out of it. I'm gonna cross over to this one. All right, up, slow on the way down, up. Keep it going. It 
doesn't look like you're doing very much, but this leg does do a pretty good job of putting weight on it. I could press down with one arm to kind of mess up my balance. I like having my hands behind me, keep the weight evenly distributed, keep it going. That was 10, 11, but I say 12 is a good thing. I think we should do 15. Keep it going. Switching legs, come over, and go back into it. You can make this as hard as you want to, but how hard is this opposite leg? It's gonna be pushing down on the, lat, the leg that's doing the calf raises. And only one leg is working at a time, the other one's just being used as a weight. Keep going. Great guys. Keep it up. All right, switch. Oh, I thought of this one. I wasn't sure if this was going to work if this. Opposite leg would give it enough tension. I can feel it. I can feel it just as much as if I was doing it on the, the stairs, doing it uh, standing. I might go feel it a little bit more because I've always preferred the sitting calf raises. Good job, guys. Keep it up. After this one, we have one more set on each leg. I'm gonna go right back into it. Should be building up a little bit of a sweat, or it might just be me. All right, keep going. Calf workouts are a lot about consistency, the type two muscle fiber and length of your chest and your quads and basically most of the muscles you can think of, things like your abs, your calves, your forearms, or type two muscles that are gonna need a lot more um, consistency and they don't benefit much at all from rest day to day. So that's why I'm allowed to do abs every day I work out. So people can do abs six times a week within reason, even seven times sometimes, um, because your abs don't benefit from doing a chest day or an abs day, but um, like, like how people sometimes do once a week or twice a week, they do the chest because they need so much rest. Same thing with your calves. Do it on your leg day, but don't be afraid to add a calf workout into every one of your workouts if that's something you really wanna concentrate on. Keep it going. doesn't come with as many people around as a normal gym, but <laughs> definitely living at home. All right, we're done with that one. So we're gonna be continuing on to the abs. So the first one we'll be doing will be called the V crunch, pause crunch. So I'll show you. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna hold this position for about five seconds and then we're gonna slowly come back down. This is gonna have a lot of different elements to it. So you're gonna have a static pause in your abs, and then you're gonna have to slowly have a kinetic bring down, and that should have a lot of positive benefits to it. So we're gonna do uh, one set of 10 of these and weigh about five seconds at the top, and have about a five second all the way down. So. Come up, one, two, I can feel it. And then slowly bring yourself back down. 
Get back up. That was one. Slowly bring yourself back down. Keep it up, guys. Keep it going. Went way back because it was the hardest part. All right, last one. Hold it and then come down. Good job. All right. Next one we're going to do is we're going to be doing a plank but it's called an extended plank i'll show you for a regular plank you're going to just have your elbows about right here keep your back straight so on this one we're going to do three sets of 15 seconds and we're going to do something called an extended plank so i'm going to have my elbows about at eye level so i'm going to come out bring my elbows way out I'm gonna count to 15. Keep it up. And done. And do that three times. Scoot back a little bit. And get started with the next one. And your arms are gonna be a little bit ahead of what you usually do. And this should increase the difficulty just a little bit. And up. back down. You can definitely feel it already. We have one more set. Give yourself a little break and we're going to get right back into it. Last set. Ready? Set. Go. Just breathe through it. Awesome job. All right, well, Again, my name is Austin Gustavich, personal trainer at Baylor Fitwell. I love making these videos for y'all. I hope that your finals are going well so far. They should be almost over. I hope they are well spread out throughout the week so you have plenty of time to study and they went well. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Make sure to check out all the other amazing trainers throughout the week. We post videos on Instagram and Facebook a couple of times a day. So make sure you check all that out. Thanks guys.